By now, you know that there are a number of factors that influence demand for a particular good or service. There's taste, income, price, the number of potential buyers, and the price of related goods or services. Now, to understand the impact of all these factors, you need to take each factor in turn and try to trace its impact on the quantity demanded of a particular good. Economics is a social science, and unlike natural science, our experiments cannot be controlled. In a laboratory, scientists can control the environment and keep certain variables constant. This makes it easier to measure the effect, for instance, of one chemical on another, and they can repeat the process with the same two chemicals over and over to confirm results and prove formulae. Economists do not have this luxury. We are confronted by a complex world in which many things are changing, all at the same instant and all the time. It would be great if we could freeze everything else while we're busy with our experiment. But in our complex and ever-changing world, this is unfortunately just not possible. What we can do is invoke the ceteris paribus condition, which allows us to assume that all other factors remain constant or unchanged, so that we can focus on just the one factor we're trying to understand. Ceteris paribus is an old Latin term, meaning all other things being equal. Let's start by considering the impact of the price of the product on the quantity demanded. In this case, we'll regard all the other variables except the price as constant. That's why we place a bar on top of them. Based on what we learned earlier about the price of our favourite fast food, what's the relationship between the price of that food and the amount we demand of it? That's right, the lower the price, the more we want of it. Or, as a true economist would say, the higher the price, the lower the quantity of fried chicken demanded, and vice versa. This is known as a negative, or inverse relationship. As one variable goes up, the other comes down, and vice versa. Now, this relationship between the price of a good or service and the quantity demanded of it is so important and economists are so confident about it that we've given it the status of a law. The law of demand. Now, the law of demand, simply stated, says that the higher the price of a good or service, the lower the quantity demanded of it, ceteris paribus, all other things being equal. Now, this isn't a law in the legal sense. You won't go to jail if you disobey it. Think of it more like a natural law something that economists have found to be true again and again and in situation after situation. 